Hello all, this video is particularly for all of you. Just wanted to show you one uh, small keyboard from Casio which I received um, yesterday. Uh, I just wanted to show you that's why I didn't open it yet. Advantage of this keyboard what I felt is like this is one of the cheapest keyboard but it hasn't compromised on its quality that's what I heard. Uh, so um, let's open this one. This is called Casio Tone CTS 300 which says it has 400 tones, 77 rhythms, touch response, pitch bend wheels. Yeah, which has a general MIDI and USB cable. What more you need as a beginner? Let's open this one. The stand, notation stand. Thank you note from Casio and um, yeah, instructions, manuals, quick start guide. So this looks interesting. Yeah, in all languages, you have English and all the languages that probably most of us don't know. Anyway, so that is a manual section. The keyboard. Oh, I see something here. It says, um, register your keyboard online. Thanks for buying Casio product. The first impression, the keyboard is so slim, so slim. You can carry it anywhere you want. And uh, the advantage is like, see this one, carry just like a suitcase. So that is interesting. Let's plug this one in and uh, let's see how this works. Yeah, I'm switching on this keyboard. Um, coming straight into the first tone. It's Stereo Grand Piano. Such a small screen, but you have a joy stick view of it. This is, this looks like uh, um, it has taken the most modern amenity that you need on a keyboard. Uh, because um, this jog wheel is something you find in only in a professional keyboard, at least a semi-professional keyboard. A beginner keyboard like this, having a wheel like that, it's a luxury, but uh, uh, because of that wheel, I think Casio has taken away many of the switches. You will be finding only a few uh, switch on this keyboard. The first one is function, setup, sustain, tempo like uh, uh, the play or stop uh, icon thing and the home button these are the only buttons you have there and like below the screen you have three uh, switches up there and plus and minus primarily for the volume and the uh, and the wheel and the, and the power button these are the buttons that you see on a keyboard like this okay, yeah let's see how it goes Yeah, that looks natural and uh, I'll go to the other grand piano. Put a sustain on it. Little volume. Yeah, they have a strings piano, how is that? Yeah, the sustain comes because I have put the sustain switch on. Keep talking. Without sustain. Modern electric grand piano. Yeah, 
this uh, on a keyboard like um, this one, particularly on an introductory keyboard or a bass keyboard like this, getting a tone like this is something uh, like I could call that as a luxury because um, normally the keyboards at this range won't get this kind of quality and this is exceptional from Casio. I would like to take this keyboard places where I go because that's, that's the interesting part when you travel. Perhaps you go with strings. Yeah. And uh, let me see other pianos. Like pianos are the ones which we use often on. Good. Synth, strings, piano. Wow. These are just the raw tones that we see here. They are sounding really nice. Yeah. Beautiful, clean electric piano. All the pianos sounding really nice. Let me go to the other one, the organ. Yeah. How come this keyboard has this good voice? Wow. That is another jazz organ, rock organ. Oh, I can't miss this chapel organ. Let me see, I'm in a chapel. Casio is always famous for the organs and the theater. Wow, wow. Let me see how this sounds in the guitar. I was so amazed with this uh, keyboard is only because not because of the greatest quality that you compare with a VST but a keyboard of a basic level or an entry level having this good voice because you don't expect this one on a, a keyboard like this that's what I was on wow the nylon guitar I'll keep on playing with this one. Uh, I'll go into the 12 string guitar. Let me see how it sounds like. So oh, it has a touch response in it. So let's try. So if it is a softer one, then it will be only strings. And um, if you hit hard, I think we can hear the fret noise too. I'm going to hit harder. Wow. 
really impressive muted guitar overdrive distortion guitar oh it has a harmony in it wow feedback let me see how the bass sounds yeah if you have the touch response definitely you get the slap bass so here goes a slap one Wow. Oh, that's a slow violin, uh, cello, yeah, this is all the student needs, A cello section, Shallow won't go there. Physical. Hard. I press sustain. Let me see how it sounds like. Strings. Oh. Slow strings. Oh, that's deep. White strings. Everything looks good. Oh, strings, effects, SFX. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Choir for strings, how is it? I put a sustain, let me see how it looks like. Square. Good, really good, really good. Orchestral hit. Trumpet. Trombone. French horn. The samples on this keyboard are really good. The brass. Just one single brass. No addition, nothing I've done on that. Soprano sax. That's a baritone sax section. Wow, bassoon flute.
Oh, I can try this keyboard with the Codan app. I've, I just saw that we can plug it into the Codan app. So, um, if you don't know about the Codan app, then um, definitely you should try that thing because that is a really good app for a beginner student. And uh, like for your learning at home, because especially at times like this, uh, when you can't go out for music lessons, uh, that's the only option that you have at the moment. So just plug up your uh, tablet or a phone or whatever it is, download the app first and connect your device into this keyboard and you will get your score. Uh, you can download a lot of them from the internet as well as uh, uh, you can also play your music and you can record it, get the MIDI file from somebody, download it and um, you can see, you can play that on the keyboard. So that connects easily to the keyboard. So um, that's a one good option which I just wanted to let you know in between. And the lead. So I just want to try the rhythm also because uh, I'm just going only with the voices at the moment. Uh, let me see how it sounds like that and an idiom. Oh. I'll just change the variation. It has a fill in too. Yeah, he goes out definitely. Okay, that's really nice, really nice. So the beats are also not bad. Um, this is good enough for uh, the playing. There are a lot of beats. I don't know how they Casio has completely switched into the synth. Uh, so it maintains a balance between the classical musical instruments and uh, as well as the, the modern instruments because that's why I checked the EDM part of it. The beats are also good. Uh, the voice, uh, the lead thing, the tones are also really nice. So. There's a church lead, I don't know what church lead is. Oh, yeah, it, ha it brings a feeling of you're in a church, but you need a lead, need uh, uh, music to play and some instrument to play at the beginning. So, you give an intro. So, let me see how it sounds like. Okay, that shows that you can be developed into a church musician as well. Um, so, training of all kinds are expected in this keyboard, from this keyboard. So, fantasy. Wow, that's a good pad, synth pad. Wow, so there are there are other pads too, I suppose. Yeah. Soft pad, sign pad, and old tape pad. Wow. Holy synth. Wow, that one again. Glass pad, brightness. How is that? Okay. 
star thing. Oh, there are a lot of good voices. So that were the, the popular Western tones and they have the Indian tones too. So this keyboard might be focusing on the Indian uh, market because they have the harmonium. Harmony 1 Oh, it's the same thing that you see on... Oh, I got you. So all these keyboards like um, M6500 or Previa uh, uh, or a CTX, like they have the Harmony 1, 2 and 3 because of single read, double read and triple read. I can't believe that that is on a keyboard like an entry level keyboard. Another Shenai. Oh, Shana is really good. Santu? Okay. Tapla, I don't know how Tapla works on this one. Okay, could be like that. Standard drum kit. Wow. Okay, you have all the tones. Dandia. Okay, let's see how. They have it, they have it, they have it, they have it. Bhajans? They do. Indian pop? As a beginner, this is more than what you need because um, uh, that's what you do on, on, on as a beginner like you play with one single voice and uh, play your music and, and the beats are good enough and uh, they have incorporated a lot of professional things into it because uh, there are different variations. I, I was wondering how, how they go for different variations but there's a single switch which actually go for different patterns and says variation 1, 2 and it has fill in on and off accompaniment on and off all can be done on a single screen with this single thing so um, that's my say for it definitely if you are a student if you are a beginner and looking for a budget keyboard and you don't have to compromise on your learning standards uh, that means like you don't want to compromise uh, on anything then definitely you can go by go by this keyboard for sure because um, you can connect to the headphones, you can connect to the your app, Cordana. Okay, now the Casio Tone CTS 300S onto the studio. This is where I just want to know whether this works well or not. Because most of the times the keyboards are sounding good, but we need to see how it works with the studio. So I'm just going to try it out with my software. Not everything, a little bit of it. Uh, first, I'll try with the um, apps in the iPad. So I'm just going to try with um, the launch key. Let me see how it works. Wow, that works well. Let's try some arpeggios.
trans are. Good. So that CTS 300 takes the apps from Novation. Most importantly, I want to know how it works with the garage band. So I'm just taking the keyboards in. Um, let's try a recording. So altogether it sounds like this. What more do you need when you have a keyboard like this? I, it, was, it was never expected of, of such a small keyboard. I think this is one of the cheapest keyboard that you can have on um, this budget and especially a MIDI keyboard that can be compatible for any device like this. Let me see if it works with the logic very well. So I'm just going to reconnect this one. Uh, I'm going to take this camera connection kit off. Um, I'm just going to connect this one. The interesting part is like it works on a simple connection. I think probably it would have been connected. Oh yeah, that got it. Shows a classic electric piano. Piano and the pad, one of the one of the most liking voices. Unbelievable, unbelievable the keyboard of this range competing with the MIDI keyboards. Let me see how this works with the arpeggiators. Yeah, and then this is something string ensemble. Piano and the string ensemble. So it works with arpeggiators too. So what will you do with the drum machines? It gets, it gets. I'll go for the drum kit. Everything works really, really well. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Casio Tone CTS 300, you have uh, taken my heart. Now the last thing is to pack this keyboard and go for uh, recording. Yeah, that is something which I want to show you. Very interesting, I have the bag of this keyboard and uh, that is so simply superb. You can carry it like a backpack for your, what do you call it, the mount, it looks like a mountaineering bag, but it's really good. Uh, the first thing is that the keyboard is very lightweight and uh, and it's very simple to carry too, 
primarily I would say like I'm just disconnecting the whole thing. It looks like a suitcase I said at the beginning. It's a suitcase keyboard can be carried like this. I would say with only two fingers. That simple. You don't, you don't, you don't need much pressure. That, this is that simple. Uh, but this machine is simply superb. So finally the last thing I want to share share with you is um, it's back. This is the cover I got with um, the CTS 300. Uh, looks very interesting. Thing is, it's like this. I can just take this keyboard straight away in like this. Yep. See this one? This is a backpack and um, I'm going to take this for my travels. So what you have to do is just fold like this and um, done. And it will be looking like this. My dear friends. So hope you liked the CTS 300 video unboxing. If you really liked it, then please comment below. I would like to hear from you. Thanks very much. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.